the Witcher's contact in Velen was to be Hendrik, the Emperor's spy. Hendrik was operating incognito in that war-ravaged land. His mission, to gather intelligence about Ciri. Yet Geralt arrived too late. The Wild Hunt had reached Hendrik first. The Witcher learned nothing from the spy's corpse, but the wraiths had failed to find his notes. Geralt read them and knew that Ciri had been a guest of the Bloody Baron, a local warlord, and that she'd quarreled with a witch. Oh yeah, you know some action's happening. Some action is just about to happen right about now. Come here. I had to stop because I noticed that there is a quest here for me to take. You hear them? I'm a witcher, you guys. No funny business, you hear me? Come out. I'm not gonna hurt you. When did a you kid? Last eat? A week back. What? Half a charred squirrel and a handful of berries. Where are your parents? Where are your mom and dad? Why are you out here alone? Where are your parents? Blackens killed some of them. Oh. Others kicked us out themselves. Too many mouths to feed, they said. What the heck? That's so messed Here, up, really? Be sure to share it with the others. Thank you. Of course. Yeah, for you. For your kindness. Oh, honey, you don't have to do that. That is so sad. So this house is housing a whole group of orphans. Mm -hmm. Orphans that okay. were abandoned because the parents didn't want to feed them anymore or that they're dead. Crazy. Just so sad. I really hope they're okay. Let me check out their house too. See if it's livable. Lover of ladies here. Like my video. Share my video. Leave your comments below because I just love talking to you guys. But most importantly, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to get daily gaming content from me. And hit that notification button as well so you know when I upload my videos. This is so sad. This is not even a good place to live. Honestly, if I was able to take all of them in, I would. It's just so sad that they have to live like this. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the holy oils. Hope they burn well. Oh yeah, this is gonna be crazy. How am I supposed to do this? Let me get off the horse. Come on, Roach. Let me off. Yeah, this is gonna be... Oh, this is gonna be so nasty. Okay, come here, you heathens. I'm not afraid of you guys. Come on. Come get some. You too. Come get some. Let's go. You know, for a bunch of monsters, they were pretty easy to kill. But you know what? I'm not going to say it too loud because I'm not trying to jinx myself here. So this is the spot the priest wanted me to go. And it's a good thing I'm here too because look, they've been munching on these dead bodies for who knows how long. Rest in peace. Now for a shot of Igni. Alright. Igni, let's go. And that's just one out of three places I would need to go to do this. Man, you know, war never changes. And that statement can never be further than the truth. Yeah, sure stinks like a mass grave. Now for the only oils. Oh, they brought them down. Ooh, look at that. Why are you attacking my horse? Come on. Disgusting pig. Always gotta attack my horse and for what? Wow. They got the horse too? What is this? 
This is so disgusting. So disgusting indeed. Now for a shot of Igni. Of course, I got it. I got it. This kind of reminds me of Dishonored, where there's so many bodies due to the plague. It's actually pretty sad, though, how this is also happening here in The Witcher 3. Oh, oh yeah, this is crazy. This is crazy. Hold on, hold on. I need Quen. I need Quen. I can't do anything. Okay, say less. Come on, ghoul. You too. I got you, sir. Don't worry. Look at that. They got nothing on us. All right, we're good. Sir, are you okay? If it ain't that fucking priest, it's corpse eaters. I'm done with this damn town. A priest? We'd agreed to meet as usual. Just a larger delivery. Good mm -hmm. customer, I thought. Then mm -hmm. they whipped out blades. Wow, they did you dirty. We still talking about a priest of the eternal fire? I'd say so. Beat state pricks can't be trusted. This one had ordered premium grade fist tech from me three times. Everything perfect. But the fourth, his man came at us with knives. Sought to knock us out of trade. Shoved me in that ditch with the corpses. Must have thought the ghouls would take care of the rest. And to make sure, he hired a witcher to burn the bodies, destroy any evidence. I feel so disgusted Meeting right you. now. Yes, me. So what now? Nothing. Didn't pay me to burn the living. Oh, thank the gods it's true what they say. Though mutants, you live by a code. Oh, thank you, witcher. Thank me. What are you playing at? My bestie. Thank me. This is crazy. The fact that this priest was trying to get out of paying for a deal. Now for a shot of Igni. That is insane. I can't wait to talk to this priest. Insane. This is insane. I don't know how I feel about this, but you know what? I'm gonna give my I'm gonna give that priest my full See regards. You. See you. Oh no, someone needs help. Okay, okay, okay. I got you, I got you. Roach, hurry up. Oh, we got... We got thugs, huh? So this is, this is what I'm talking about. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on, thugs. Woohoo! You really think that you can harm me? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. You suck, my man. Ooh, they got me. They got me. Let's go. Ooh. This is gonna be a little bit hard for me. Come on. What? Let's go. I gotta make sure my shield is on me at all times, so... Come on. Come on. Ooh. Hold on, how do I... Is there any way I can, like, get my mana here? Uh... The blast. Maybe... Yeah. Ah! I'm not trying to get killed here. I thought I could take you on. Hold on, where's my... Wow. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. And I did manage to equip some of my food, so... Bye. Ooh. Psych. I'm gonna take my time. One at a time. Woo! Let's go. Come on. Psych! You can't cut me, but I can very much cut you. Come here. Woohoo! Oh, I got one. Come here. You really think. You really think you got me, huh? Psych! I could do this all day. Come on. There you go. There you go. Nice. 
Come on. One more, and I'll be good. Come on. Oh, yeah, this is nice. This is nice. And then I got one more, huh? Where he at? Where he at? Friend or foe? Which one? Okay. Snap. I guess we have a foe. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop using your horse. That's why you're dead, fool. And then we got one more, huh? Come here. No, sorry. Dead. Dead. See? How nice. That is exactly how I pictured. Oh, there's one more. There's a couple, actually. Question is, are they coming over? I'll take that. Got the cage key. Nice. And I see a couple bodies here. I'll take that. I'll loot this too. Thank you. Because I'm definitely going to grab these and sell them so I can get more money. Where you at? Oh, I see a couple still. Thank you. I'll take that. I'll take that. I just love looting. Talk. No. On sent letter. Let me see. My dear Helke, remember when you said, Isbor, don't you go robbing folk? The gods don't like it, and besides, only refugees on the roads these days, and they're even poorer than us. How you were cross thy strict, working in the fields, and didn't bring a scrap home to put in the pot. Well, you are going to have to eat those words, my dear. Gobble them all up with a hearty slice of humble pie and some baked crow on the side. Yesterday we cornered this merchant, and not a Gore's Velen or Brianna man, but from Milfgard him itself, you see. From the city of Golden Towers. Didn't speak much common, but enough so we could understand each other. He said he was carrying some goods to the Black One's camp. We took everything he had, and I'm telling you, Hail Kate, dearest, you've never seen so many crowns in your life, nor could you ever hope to count that high. Now we're going to rough him up a bit more to make sure he hasn't hid some of his gold or goods. Once we cut off his thumbs, he'll spill the beans about any extra treats stashed in the soles of his boots. And once Mirko scalds him a bit, He'll tell us about the precious stones he's got soon and the feed bag. Might tell us a great many such things of interest, in fact. You never know just what till you try. Tell the young'uns dad's gonna be home soon. That he'll bring them toys and treats and they'll eat so many honey cakes their tummy's gonna burst. For you, Helke, I'll bring a silver necklace and brooch. Because while you can be awful cruel at times, I still love you, you naughty bint. Isbor. P.S. Throw on that nightshirt with the lace and red beads for my arrival, and color up your kisser somewhat. Well, well, well. So one of the guys I killed, he's a father and a husband, and the only reason why he's out doing some illegal stuff is because, well, he needs the money to feed, to feed and clothe his, his, um, his family. That sucks, but you know what? Who cares, am I right? What? First of all... There you go, I was about to say, where's my shield? Okay, this is not even funny anymore. Let's go, right here. Come on! Come here! Come on. Got one. I, f I just love how as soon as I cut them up, their bodies just explode. It's hilarious to me. Come on. Excuse me, sir. No, you're fucked, okay? Get your ass over here. Got you. I got you. Ha ha. I got you, because you suck. I'm the only one standing here. And also... Hold on. 
There you go. Got, got one. Got one. Where's your loot? Thank you. And is that it? I guess that's it. Okay, so I killed all these people. I really hope you really are worth saving, because I'm being really nice. Goods for the army mostly. I am making an exception for you. Okay, awesome. I appreciate that, sir. I really do. Interest you in a pass. Shapest around. Right here. A pass? What? What kind of pass are we talking about? You don't know. No, clearly We're that's why I'm asking. Can't all the fords cross the pontar. Can't get through without a pass. But you're in luck. So really? I've got a few to sell. Really? You don't say. What? I could dress up like Radovid and buy a gilded carriage for that much. What am I to do if you can't afford it? No deal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold well on. Oh, I'll oh. Have a little work for you. Really? Surprise for a job well done, eh? Okay, what's the job? What kind of work? Nearby. Just to the southeast. My sister's husband's got a business. He and some lads tidy up battlefields. Problem is, there's always swarms of shite bothering them. You know, them monsters drawn to corpses. Give them some protection, and I'll swing you one beautiful discount. See what I can do. <coughs> okay, so I'll definitely help, but for now I gotta go to that priest. Well, Witcher, have you completed your task? Why do you priests take an interest in the fallen so late? The Church of the Eternal Fire's first duty is to the living. You've no notion of the work we did just after the battle. The wounded needed tending. Refugees, mm -hmm. pastoral care. Okay. We had sermons to deliver, donations to collect. So Only much work. Hate. What would the people have done without you? I know, right? So much work. Ooh, must be so hard. So, took care of the graves. Interesting, actually. One of the corpses proved to be quite, well, alive and pretty talkative. What do you mean? You know what Fist I mean. Don't be coy. One of them survived. Had an awfully interesting story to tell. Hmm. Intriguing. I would purchase this story from you. For all time. Exclusively. Now you're trying to bribe me? You can hire me. But you sure as hell can't buy me. Ah. An impasse. Then it will be cheapest to kill you. Are you Free sure about that, one. sir? Surely we'll manage, witcher or not. Really? That would be your biggest mistake, sir! Come on, priest! That's one! That's two! And that's three! Oh, that is exquisite killing! If I do say so myself! And I got a lot of money for it! Ah, oh, this is wild! The infamous well. Oh, what is that? What is that? Chill! What is that? What is that? Oh, oh my goodness. This is bad. This is bad. Okay, let's go. Come here. Oh, this is bad. What do I do? Alright, so we're do we're dealing with uh, a woman by the well, right? Gloss glossary. Um Devil by the well. The residents of the White Orchard had suffered more than their fair share of misfortunes. Passing armies had trampled their spring planting. A griffin had begun abducting their livestock. And the rotting icing on this painful cake, a noon wrath, haunted a nearby well. No wonder the locals call this final evil a devil. The Witcher could sense something bound her to this place and that in order to send her off into the ethereal realms, he would first need to learn her secret. 
Once that was done, he would have to prepare for battle. And a noon raft is a demanding opponent. She can disorient her victim by binding him and creating mirror images of herself. Aw, oh, she's gonna be a pain to kill. Are you serious? These copies slowly suck, giggity, their victim's life energy, while their mistress remains untouchable. In order to defeat her, the Witcher could not rely on his silver sword alone. The Yurden sign would be also needed to trap her and force her to take on a material form. Oh, right. Right. Okay. I need the urine sign, so right here. Got it! Let's go! She fled. She'll be back tomorrow. Something's keeping her here. What? So this spirit isn't really evil. She's drawn to here because, well, there's something that's holding her back from actually reaching to the other side. Question is, what is it? What is it? What's holding her back from actually leaving this place? Which senses activate? Oh, that box. What's in here? Nothing. Ah, oh, that's so corny. There's really nothing in here. I thought maybe it could be like some sort of a charm. A diary. A journal might be useful. It's happened. Joker sent a petition of our grievances against the Lord to the court at Vazima. Listed all the harm he's done to us. How he killed Johan for not taking off his cap quick enough. How he trampled our fields when drunk with Neri, a thought of replacement. How he barged in during Petier's wedding and demanded his right of the first night. <gasps> now we finally got what we begged Medali for in our prayers for so long. The judge recognized our grievances and waived all our bonds and duties to the Lord. We can finally strike out on our own. At least we can live as free men. Wow, this guy is so disgusting. How are you going to go barge into someone's wedding asking to sleep with the bride first? What a pig. The first day of our freedom. Hovel's not much of a village yet, but to my mind, it's better than the most fantastic palace. Yoker fumed our home with hazelwood smoke to drive out evil. Buried a Martin under the gate to make sure no thieves cross our threshold. And then he gave me a bracelet. Loveliest I've ever seen. Mother said it's foolish to spend so much on a bauble when we haven't paused no hose and that we ought to return it to the merchant over my dead body. I'll never take it off. It'll always be there to remind me of Yoker, of how happy we were that day. Aww, that's so sad. A final token to the man that she clearly admires. They say the Lord is coming to see us. That he wants to make a deal, to beg us to return to the village. They say he's come since his son died, that he's not as quick to anger about small sights. Well, we'll see. One way or another, I've no intention to move one inch from here. That bracelet might be what ties the woman's spirit to this place. The bracelet? The bracelet? A man, stabbed with a knife, died on the spot. Animals fed on his body. Picked his skeleton clean. More blood stains over there. But it's not his blood. Wait, what? Blood stains. Barely visible. Someone was dragged this way. Someone who was still alive. Wow, that's crazy. And I see more stains. The door. Palm prints in blood. Small hands woman's someone dragged her out she was wounded fought for her life no body in sight but might still find some tracks under the right conditions blood stains can remain visible for decades so maybe the woman that was Another dragged out well. she could be the lady 
of the well. <gasps> no. Yeah, I see it here. Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the well. Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the well. Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the well. Okay, I get it. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. Wow, this is insane. Wait, I see blood here. Noon Wraith won't stray too far from the well. Really? Is that the only thing you're able to say? Clearly, um... Blood stains. Almost faded. But the line's taut. Something's not right. Don't tell me the body... The corpse oh! By the bucket rope. No! No! That's the, the woman! To. Must be. Oh, that is so sad. That is so Wide sad. Pelvis, small jaw, a woman, around thirty, judging by the teeth. Left arms missing. Need I to am cremate so the sorry. Remains. Gotta find the object that binds her to this place before I do, though. Was she wearing the bracelet from her husband? Might be why her arm fell off. Gotta jump down there. Hope I don't break my legs. Do we have to? Do we really have to jump in there? Oh, this is so awkward. I'm scared. No, won't stray too far from the well. So the bracelet is obviously in the well. I bet the arm fell off after a while, so. <gasps> ah! Oh, this is nasty. Wow, this is one hell of a jump. Okay. So, how are we doing this? Because I can't even see. Okay. Maybe... I gotta dive? Okay. Hold on, let me dive. How am I supposed to do this? Alright, I'm diving, but I don't see any... Ooh. Oh! <gasps> That's the ornament! I found it! Okay, I found it. I found it. Oh my goodness, I feel so sorry for her. I really do. Lucky not to come up empty-handed. The bracelet with an inscription. To Claire. Claire? Volker. Aww. Bracelet must have belonged to the woman in the well. That's why she's still here. Lovely she wants a bracelet. But I'll have to burn it with the body to get rid of the noon wraith for good. Better do it near the well. Okay, question is though, how do we get out of here? Because this is uh Alright, hold on, let me let me follow the trail here. Yeah, maybe. Uh we're gonna have to dive in, huh? Alright, let's go. Come on. Come on. We, we, I don't want to be here too long, especially since I know you have a certain amount of time before you start to drown, so. Okay, we're doing good, right? Perfect, let's keep going. Yep, this way. That is so sad. The village got attacked. They hanged her after they killed her love of her life. And as the body rot, her arm fell. The arm that contained the bracelet. And ever since then, she's been staying at that very village because, well, she's restless. She doesn't want to leave without the bracelet. And I can't blame her, because that bracelet is the only reminder of her lover. Need to prepare for this fight. Brew some wraith oil, drink some potions. Yes. We definitely need to. Thank you for watching. This is Lover of Ladies, and I'll see you next week.